In this lesson, we'll be talking about the relationship between uh, the leading coefficient and finite differences. So just a quick refresher. We've talked about first differences and second differences in grade 9 and 10 respectively. So when you found the first differences and you saw that they were constant, you would say that there's a linear relationship that is demonstrated by the table. And then if it was if the second differences were constant, you would say that there's a quadratic relationship uh, demonstrated by the table. So let's just go over that very quickly. So to find the first differences, you look at how the y values are changing. So students always ask me, is it 9 minus 6 or 6 minus 9? And my response is, how are the y values changing? So to go from 9 to 6, you went down by 3. Okay? So if it's negative 3, then it makes it's obvious that it can't be 9 minus 6. It has to be 6 minus 9. Uh, let's do 3 minus 6. 0 minus 3, negative 3 minus 0. What do you know? The first differences are constant, so you would say that this table demonstrates a linear relationship. Uh, let's do this table here. Uh, 0 to 9 means an increase of 9. 9 to 24 is an increase of 15. 21, and then 26. Oops. Uh, plus 6, 27, sorry. 27 and then 6 6 6 beautiful so this is not a linear relationship being displayed because the second differences are constant we're going to say that this is a quadratic relationship here all right so you probably already know what's coming uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in a table for this cubic here for uh, f of x equals x cubed we chose a simple cubic uh, but you really could choose any cubic. And what do you think is going to happen when we solve uh, for the first difference, second difference, and third difference? So take your time, think about it, and then uh, fill in the cells and see if um, what you predicted is correct. So negative 3 cubed is negative 27, uh, negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, 8, 27. Um, just uh, be, ca be very uh, cautious here. If you make a silly boo-boo here, <laughs> it's going to cascade and cause a big problem. So really take your time. Um, in fact, sometimes I'll just use my calculator just to triple, triple check because uh, a small mistake here would be quite disastrous. So this is going to be increase of 19. And this is increase of 7, increase of 1, increase of 1, increase of 7, increase of 19. Okay, so guess what? It's not linear. Okay. Now is it quadratic? Let's see, negative 12, negative 6, 0, no change, 1 to 1, 1 to 7 is 6, 7 to 19 is 12. Hmm, it's not quadratic. So this is up 6, 6, 6, 6. What do you know? The third differences are constant. And I already know that this is cubic. In fact, we're going to summarize this, okay? So in grade 9 and grade 10, you said something in grade in advanced functions, you're going to say something as well. In fact, the nth differences are equal for any polynomial function of degree n. So if I were to find the fourth difference, um, and if they were constant, I would know that it represents a quartic relationship. That table represents a quartic relationship. Um, if it's quintic, the fifth difference will be constant, and so forth and so on. Okay. Uh, like I said, you can test it yourself and see if it's true, but I assure you it does work. Okay, so in addition to this beautiful relationship, we're going to draw another relationship. Um, the nth diff is equal to a times n factorial. So this is very new notation to you. Uh, I won't go into great detail about uh, factorials because you'll learn more about that in um, data management. But I will say a represents the leading coefficient. And n factorial represents how many ways you can arrange uh, the number of items, n items. Okay, So let's say, what is 3 factorial? Okay, This number, whatever 3 factorial represents, it's, or whatever 3 factorial is equal to, it represents the number of ways we can arrange three items. So let's say I have three items. I have a, 
B and C. Okay, how many ways can I arrange A, B, C? Well, I've written down one way. I've written down A, B, C. I can do A, C, B. I could do B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, C, B, A. And guess what? There's no other way to do it. Okay, you start with A and then B, C, and then A, C, B, and so forth and so on. So if I have three uh, items, um, the, the, the number of ways I can rearrange three items is the six ways I've shown. So guess what? Three factorial is equal to six. Now another way to know three factorial six is um, basically counting down from three. Three to one. So three times two times one. Uh, and three times two times one is also six. So three factorial is six. Um, you can think of it as, um, sorry, you can think what's five factorial? Well, five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. But whatever this is equal to, whatever five times four times three times two times one, I really want you to think of it as rearrangement of five items. How many ways can I rearrange five items? And uh, you can spoil, it, <laughs> spoil yourself uh, by punching into the calculator. Uh, or you can do A, B, C, D, E and rearrange them. But that will take quite a bit of time. Um, but anyways, that's 5 factorial. So, uh, but for this lesson, what we're going to do um, is solve for the leading coefficient or solve for the nth difference to, once you're given uh, the table. So, for example, I'm given the table here and they want me to find the leading coefficient. So you know what, let's do it, let's do it. So I'm gonna find the first differences. So up 24, up 10, 2, 0, 4, 14, not linear, so it's not a degree of one. Okay, down 14, down eight, down two, up four, up, 10, guess what? It's not quadratic. It's not a degree of 2. Down 6, 6, 6. Sorry, up 6, 6. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So the nth difference, the third differences are constant. So it's 6 in this case. So 6 is equal to a times, I won't write n factorial because n is the degree. So it's three factorial, okay? So A is equal to, I won't skip my step. Uh, six is equal to three factorials, three times two times one, which is six. Oh, by the way, there's a factorial button. So I minus, I do shift, and there's this button right here, there's an exclamation mark. So three factorial is six. Five factorial, 120. Uh, let's do uh, 9 factorial, which is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. There's your number, 362,880. Anyways, the leading coefficient is 1. All right, let's do, let's do this one here. Down two, down four, uh, down six, down eight, down ten. Second differences. Uh, down two, down two, down two. Beautiful. So the degree is two because the second differences are constant. So use a formula. The nth difference is equal to a, the leading coefficient, times n factorial, where n in this case is 2. 2 factorial is 2, because 2 times 1 is 2. So a is equal to negative 1. Uh, quick uh, thing I want to mention, if your nth differences are negative, then your leading coefficient will be negative. If the nth differences are positive, then your leading coefficient is positive, because n factorial will strictly be positive. So the signs of a and the nth difference must be the same. Okay, so uh, this lesson goes over several things. It ties things up really nicely.
because in grade 9 and 10 you talked about first and second differences and now you can talk about nth differences okay um, and we also added a nice relationship between the nth difference and the leading coefficient